Hi kids, today we are going to be learning how to interpret the remainder. This is part one of a two-part video. Your learning target for today is to be able to interpret the remainder while working on word problems that are division based and we will have our answers as whole numbers, fractions, or mis mixed numbers. When you solve a division word problem, with a remainder, the way you interpret the remainder depends on the situation in the question. To interpret means to explain the meaning. Make sure you write down what interpret means in your math journal. We're going to go ahead and start practicing what you need to know for interpreting the remainder. And I really need you to make sure that you're paying very close attention to the work that you will be doing in this video. And please make sure that you go back and re-listen to any parts that are confusing or some parts that you need clarification on so that we can discuss those better in class. So let's look at this word problem. Jackson had 136 superhero stickers left over from his birthday party. He shared the stickers equally among himself and four of his friends. How many stickers will each friend get? Now, what we are solving for is this question. How many stickers will each friend get? And because we're working with division, we can see that he's going to share them equally among himself and four friends, which is why we are dividing 136 divided by 5, because this is a total of five people and not just Jackson himself. So we have to include him within the problem. Now, once we solve for this, we're going to set it up as if we were doing our par partial quotient. So we'll say 136 divided by 5, and we would proceed the way that we would if we were working our partial quotients, which this is a partial quotient or a long division problem. So we start out 5 times 20, and that's going to be 100. We subtract 100 from 136, and we will have 36. Now we will take out more groups of 5, and this time 7. And then 7 times 5 will be 35. We will subtract, and that will give us 1. And 1 will be our remainder. We cannot take out any more groups of 5 because 1 is less than 5, so I know that I can stop. And now I need to add 20 and 7, and that's going to give me 27. And so I have a quotient and remainder, 27, remainder 1. From here, I'm going to go back and refocus my attention on the question. The question asks, how many stickers will each friend get? Now. My division answer is 27 remainder 1. But all of this does not answer the question that I am being asked. So it's very important for me to understand each part of the division. I need to understand, I need to interpret what this 136 means. I need to interpret what the five means, remember Jackson and four friends. I need to also interpret the quotient and the remainder. I need to know what all of these parts mean. That's very important for the work that we are doing. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. So here is a nice visual of what's happening. Now, I have written this two different ways. And I'll start over here first. 136 divided by 5 equals 27 remainder 1. The 136 is not only the dividend, but it's the total number of stickers that Jackson, Jackson starts with, 136. The 5 is our divisor, but it's also the number of friends, because this is the total number of people that are going to be sharing the stickers. 27 is my quotient. It is also the number of stickers shared equally. And my remainder of 1 is my remainder, but it is also the number of stickers left over. 
So I have to identify or interpret, explain what each part of my division equation means. Over here is a chart that says the same thing as the diagram. So your dividend, and it shows it's 136 and what that represents. The divisor is 5, and it tells what that represents. The quotient is 27, and it tells what that represents. And the remainder is 1, and it tells what the remainder represents. When you're working on your term problems, you're going to be expected to solve using partial quotients as well as draw a diagram or a chart. The chart might be easier and a little bit neater for you to go back and reference and also for us to look at when we're seeing your work. You have to identify all parts of your division equation. So when I answer this question, how many stickers will each friend get? Well, when I look at all my pieces, all of my parts, I know that 27 is the number of stickers shared equally or the number of stickers each friend will get. Each friend will get 27 stickers. Each friend will not get 27 remainder 1 because that is not what this question is asking us for. How many stickers will they get that are shared equally? Well, they will have 27 stickers shared equally. So we will not use the remainder in our answer. Our final answer will not have the remainder of 1 because it does not help us answer this question. Each friend will get 27 stickers. So we only use the quotient and we drop the remainder. So it's very important for us to know we're only using the quotient and we are dropping the remainder. Let's continue on and look at this next part of the problem that we need to solve for. Now, we're using the same problem, but this time our question is different. So Jackson had 136 superhero stickers left over from his party. He's going to share them equally among himself and four of his friends. So it's still five people. This time, how many stickers will not be shared? And so because we've already done the work up here, we already know that if we're just solving for this, just finding a, a quotient and a remainder, it would be 27 remainder 1. But now that we have all of this information, we can actually answer this question about the stickers that will be shared. 136 divided by 5, we've already solved for that, and we said it was 27 remainder 1. Twenty-seven remainder one. Now we can answer the question by looking back at our chart or our diagram. How many stickers will not be shared? Okay. One is the remainder. This is in stickers left over or the stickers not shared. So one sticker will not be shared. What we did in this part is that we use the remainder only. So we didn't use the quotient, we use the remainder in our answer. Now it's your turn to practice. You are going to interpret the remainder to solve. You're going to label each part of your division equation. When you're looking at numbers 1 and 2, you will see that they are both related problems, but the questions are, are different, and that's what you need to focus on. I will go ahead and let you know that you see the number 28 twice within this problem, but when you read it, you will understand that you're not going to use the number 28 twice in your division equation. You're only going to use it once. And the same thing with number 2. So make sure that you are labeling each part of your division equation and then go back and solve these two questions based on what the question in the problem is asking you to do. Make sure to reference this page because it shows you on this slide how to label each part based on the words that's written within your problem. So you're going to have to really get used to doing that when you're solving. Make sure you 
show all of your work in your journal, complete your list, and go on at Moto and turn in your assignment and let us know that you have watched the video.